In this video, I would like to explain why the Dutch are considered masters of water management. Did you know that 26% of the Netherlands is below sea level, making it one of the lowest lying countries in the world? A significant portion of the country's land area is vulnerable to flooding, and this has driven the Dutch to develop some of the world's most sophisticated and effective water management systems. The Netherlands invested heavily in flood protection infrastructure, including dikes, levees, canals, and pumping stations to prevent flooding and protect low-lying areas from inundation. The Dutch have a culture of collaboration and consensus building, which has been crucial in developing effective water management strategies. Water management in the Netherlands involves a wide range of stakeholders, including government, water boards, industry, and citizens, who work together to develop and implement solutions. The Netherlands have a comprehensive and integrated approach to water management that includes long-term planning, risk assessment, and contingency planning. This approach has enabled the Dutch to develop a robust system for flood protection and water management. Most of the Dutch cities are below the sea level. Even the world's third busiest airport, Schiphol Airport, sits at around three meters below sea level. Have you ever heard that there is a water tax in the Netherlands, which known as the water board tax? This tax is collected by the water boards, which are responsible for managing water resources and flood protection in the country. The water board tax is based on the value of the property and the amount of water consumed, and it is used to fund a wide range of activities related to water management, such as the maintenance of dikes, canals, and pumping stations as well as the treatment of wastewater and the restoration of waterways. The Netherlands share their expertise in water management with other countries and collaborate on water-related issues globally. Also, the Netherlands is home to several international organizations, such as the Delta Alliance and the Global Center on Adaptation that work on water management and climate change adaptation. Dutch companies are involved in many water projects around the world often partnering with local companies and governments to provide expertise and technology. Here are a few more examples of water projects around the world in which Dutch companies and organizations have played a significant role. First one is sustainable water management in Ethiopia. The Dutch organization Wetlands International is working with the Ethiopian government to develop a sustainable water management plan for the Lake Tana Basin which is an important source of water for the country. The plan includes measures to reduce erosion, improve water quality, and promote sustainable agriculture. Next one is water management in the United Arab Emirates. The Dutch engineering firm Vano Oort has been involved in several large-scale water management projects in the United Arab Emirates, including the construction of artificial islands, and the development of water supply infrastructure. The Dutch company has also been involved in dredging and coastal protection projects in the region. Also, I would like to mention about Blue Deal Project. The Blue Deal is a Dutch initiative that aims to improve water management in developing countries by sharing Dutch expertise and technology. The program focuses on sustainable water management, climate adaptation, and stakeholder participation and has been implemented in several countries in Africa and Asia. And last but not least is Circular Water Project. Circular Water is a Dutch initiative that aims to promote the sustainable use of water resources by promoting the circular economy. The program focuses on reducing water consumption, recycling wastewater, and creating new economic opportunities in the water sector. These are just a few examples of the many water projects around the world in which Dutch companies are involved. The Netherlands has a long history of managing water resources and has become a global leader in water management and sustainability. The expertise and technology developed in the Netherlands have made Dutch companies leaders in the field of water management and have allowed them to provide valuable support to countries facing water-related challenges. The Netherlands also has been at the forefront of promoting sustainable water management practices, both within the country and globally, 
and its expertise can be valuable in addressing the water-related challenges that arise due to climate change. With increasing water scarcity, sea level rise, and extreme weather events, it is crucial to adopt sustainable water management practices and the Dutch experience and knowledge can be useful in this regard. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next one. Dot scenes.